Hello and welcome to the FAU. This is Lasvini. This is Benjamin. And we are here to help you plan your visit at FAU. Because moving to a new country can be frightening. You might need some time to adjust to the new culture. While Germany shares many similarities with other Western European countries, it is unique in other aspects. To help clear the air, we asked international students to share their experiences with living in Germany. We hope that these tips will help you to settle into new life in Germany. Don't be afraid to ask questions and tell us where are you having troubles. Just be polite. And even the so-called grumpy Germans will provide you with support after cracking a smile. We hope that you will have a wonderful time in Germany. The German education system is largely public and as such, state universities do not charge tuition fees. As the living costs in Germany are fairly similar to the one of Western European countries, you may have to account for a period of adjustment while you learn how to calculate your own living costs. Services like haircuts, eating out, household helps or for example mobile network services, these things are comparatively expensive in Europe compared to any other countries. Trading hours for businesses vary greatly in Germany, depending on the day of the week. It certainly takes some getting used to. Yes, it is true uh, that on Saturdays shops often close earlier than on weekdays and that they remain closed all Sunday. That's also true for timetables, for buses and trains, which also vary greatly on weekends. Germany may have four distinct seasons, but don't be deceived by that, because the weather here is not constant. The country is known for its rainy and cold uh, weather that could reach less than zero degrees Celsius, but also in summer days it could reach up to 35 degrees Celsius. When you pack for Germany, you should pack all kind of clothes. Also, it can almost any time rain here, so you should be prepared for that too. True to the stereotype, Germans are always on time. Yeah, Germans might generally be perceived as strict and orderly, but it's important to know that they dislike nothing more than tardiness or being late. Um, they actually call this time wasted and they do not like it. Being punctual is a sign of respect and something upon which they lay a lot of value. Germans will even go so far as to plan hikes or coffee and cake weeks in advance. Is what you call local text culture. This means while communicating, value is being laid on being precise, simple and clear. They don't appreciate too much fluffiness and this is what makes them appear as harsh or impolite. Germans do not intend to attack or offend to you. Just to remember that everything said by a German is to be interpreted literally. That is exactly as it is said. They don't want you to read between the lines. They themselves are not good at detecting hidden messages. They want you to say exactly what you want to say. On a separate note, Germans love to debate. They believe that discussion leads to tolerance and progress, especially in the science. They are of the firm belief that all of the opinions matter and it should be heard. Indeed, disagreement is viewed positively in Germany and it should encourage reflection and the ability to adopt new perspectives. Please don't feel attacked if someone does not share your opinion. Hi, the Euro for every time a German moves about the punctuality of German transport, I will be a millionaire. However, quite the contrary, uh, buses and trains are exceptionally reliable and will guarantee a safe trip to any part of the country. As a student, the semester ticket is a must-have. With this, you can travel to the whole part of Elangen 
at any time of the semester. Or you could ride your bike like many other people here in Elangen and join in the pursuit of a greener future. There are also fines if the brakes and lights on your bicycle do not work properly. That's it. is exceptionally proud of its um, green and climate friendly environment. I mean, it's a great image for them after all, right? For sure. And I think the integral to this is the German principle of cleanliness and of order. And as such, Germans are exceptionally proud of their recycling system. And I think it's important to note here that while the system is highly specific and somewhat complicated at times with a vast array of bins, Germans are always exceptionally enthusiastic about explaining waste sortation and I think it's kind of a pastime or a hobby of theirs really. Yeah. <laughs> also the people of Germany also like to save water and electricity and I think the reason is more of a financial one, I mean they like to save money, everyone likes to save money. For sure. <laughs> German authorities are reliable and there to help you. Please do not have any reservations about contacting them if you need support. Both Erlangen and Nürnberg are very safe cities and as such you shouldn't be afraid of being attacked or marked. That said, you should be familiar with the following two principles while interacting with the German police. Firstly, gift offers to the authorities are considered bribes. And second, the German police are entitled to prove your identity. Uh, though a rare occurrence and is not meant personal, you should always carry some form of identification with you, such as a driver's license or ID card. To avoid running into legal trouble, as rare it is, it is important to understand the German laws. Here are a few tips. Do not download illegal content from the internet. German laws are not particularly forgiving. Ensure that immigration status is always up to date. We are aware that all signed contracts are legally binding, as are verbal agreements. This means you'll be held responsible if you do not uphold your end of the bargain. That said, following the aforementioned tips ensure a hassle-free life in Germany. <laughs> German students are independent and free to enjoy life. But with this freedom comes responsibility. There are no limits to the memories to be made here. On the other hand, self-reliance and responsibility will be bestowed upon you, a perhaps more sobering reality. Cooking at home, cleaning, grocery shopping, and washing are all components of the German experience. And though they may seem overwhelming at first, you will be impressed by what you can handle. Take life as an opportunity to impress oneself with one's own capabilities. Keep calm. Don't panic. Being independent doesn't mean being stranded without help, especially when it comes to academic struggles. Friendly FO staffs are there to give you a guiding hand. But keep in mind that you are the one in control of your destiny. In Germany you are free to be you. No matter your origin, gender, religion or sexual orientation, you have the right to be treated not different than everybody else. The German constitution protects you from discrimination. Equality is very important in Germany. Class and social differences do not hold you back. Everybody deserves your respect, just as you may expect yours. Even so, culturally, the German core principles might differ from those of your home. It is a lifestyle easy to adapt. That was quite a lot of information. Luckily it's a movie. And you can repeat it until you have understood everything about the great German culture. So. Ja, ne? Gut. Tschüss. Tschüss.